All right, today's May 3rd, 2011. Uh, you guys have a test on Thursday. These are the review questions. Uh, you can do them on page 289 in your blue notebook. And they are text page 314, numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and 10. We're going to take up the quiz today. The very first question on the quiz was rewritten the day of the quiz. So this is what the actual question said. It said, the first plane is 50 kilometers from a tower. A second plane is 70 kilometers from the first plane. And the angle formed at the tower to the first plane is 47 degrees. So let's create this. If you're one of the guys who has a blank quiz right now, the first question is different. Changed. So we have our wonderful tower. Okay, tracking station, tower, same thing. There is a plane. It is 50 kilometers from the tower. There is another plane. It is 70 kilometers from the first plane. And finally, the angle formed at the tower to the first plane is 47 degrees. So this is how you set up the triangle. Many of you guys had trouble setting up this triangle. On your test on Thursday, there are no diagrams. Everything is given to you in a sentence, and you have to create the triangle. Okay. Okay. When we did the quiz, you guys had only known Sokotoa and sign law. So, first of all, whoops. Hey. Sine theta, cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent theta, opposite over adjacent. Very first thing, can I use any of these three ratios to solve this triangle? No. No. There, yes. There's no proof that this is a right angle triangle. Many of you guys tried to use these to solve this. Not possible. So, sign. You guys were given sign law, Aaron. Okay, so you guys knew sign law as of that date. So we're going to try to use sign law to solve this. We're going to plug in. We're going to have to name this triangle. So I'm going to call tower angle A and the opposite side, side A. A first plane I'm going to call angle B, opposite side B, and finally second plane will be angle C, side C. The question asks us to figure out how far the second plane was from the tower. In other words, they want us to solve for side B. So I actually don't have any information on side B. I don't have the length, nor do I have the angle. So I'm going to have to go about this a longer way. I do have both A's. I have angle A and side A, so I know that I can use that when it comes to sine law. And I do have the measurement of side C. That means I am able to find angle C. So I'm going to do that next. I'm going to set up our sine A over A with sine C over C. So sine A, or angle A, was 47 degrees. And side A was 70 is equal to sine C, if you don't know what it is. But I do know the length of side C was 50 kilometers. So let's try to solve this. 
I'm going to bring 50 over to this side. So my equation is going to say sine C is equal to 50 times sine 47 over 70. Okay, so we know that sine 47, well, we don't know, but the calculator in our calculator, sine 47 is equal to 0 0.731. Whatever you feel like. Whatever makes you happy, John. 0 0.731 times 50. It's 36.56 divided by 70. Equals 0 0.522 is equal to sine C. I still have to isolate for just C, which means I need to bring sine to the other side of the equation. So when I bring sine to the other side, it is sine inverse, sine to the negative 1. Make sure you guys type that in when solving for an angle on your calculator. We use the inverse of sine. So inverse sine of this is 31.4. In other words, when I go back up to the top, I know my angle C is 31.4 degrees. So I now have both the measurements for A, I have the side and the angle, and both the measurements for C, the side and the angle. I don't have the side B yet. Can I solve for angle B? Anyone know what all the angles of a triangle add up to? Yes. So we know that angle A plus angle B plus angle C are going to equal 180 degrees. Angle A was 47. We don't know what angle B was. And angle C we just discovered was 31.4. So to solve for angle B, I bring the other two numbers to the other side. Angle B is going to be 101.6 degrees. So we finally figured out what angle B is going to be now. 101.6 degrees. Now that I have that, I can go back to my sine law and I can plug in the value for angle B and set it equal to either our C or our A. It doesn't matter. Both will still give us this measurement of B. So, set this up again. We're going to use the original numbers they gave us. So we're going to use sine, I'm going to use side A. And sine 101.6 over side B. Okay? Now, from looking at this, I know that I'm going to have to do a lot of work to get B by itself because it's on the bottom of an equation. So I can actually flip this ratio. I'm going to rewrite it. It's the exact same thing. But I'm going to put the sides on top of the fractions. This way it is much easier to manipulate. All I did was flip the fractions. As long as I flip both of them, they're still equal. This is fine. It makes it easier to manipulate. Because now I just got to move sine 101.6 by cross multiplying. I bring it to the top of the other fraction. So I easily isolated B. All I have to do now is solve. And sine 47 we'd already figured out earlier. 0 0.731. Multiply 70 times 0 
Lewis's favorite radio station? Nine seven nine. Equal. Finally, we discovered that side B is 93.74 or 94 kilometers. So, in other words, this is roughly 94 kilometers. So, all the way back at the top, we discovered that plane C is 94 kilometers away from the tower. 